Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello. So you want to end your wallpaper on a corner. It's not an inside corner, 90 degrees. It's not an outside corner, 90 degrees. That would be easy. It's an outside bull nose. Many of you write in and say, how do you do it? Let me show you. Just show them this bull nose here. It's rounded, there's a radius, there's no hard angle. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, we need the assistance of a laser. So, you have to pick a point on the bull nose where you want it to end. I like it right before the radius begins, but customers have said, no, 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 I would like it further over. So, I'm inclined to start it somewhere like right around the middle, okay? And so I'm using a laser. It's very simple after this. Once you have the laser, now some of you don't have a laser, and then you just, what they call out of luck, just kidding. You could use a plumb bob for that. And so, my help is not here. I'll have to do this myself. So, I like to heat the vinyl up if I can. Just to give it that one final lay down. Because if you have air pockets in here, guess what? Your straight line's going to be off. Because air pockets once you cut it, they, they displace material and so it makes your line crooked. Now before we went on camera, we did this. can see I've had to pu push more air out of the way so I'm comfortable with that sharp blade 10 inch taping knife What well, makes this hard, right? Look at where I'm pulling the this guide. Not at the edge where my blade is, but up. I need some support so that the blade, my guide doesn't slip. You see, if I put it right at the end, it's gonna slide. So it's almost halfway the length of the of the guide. You see what I mean? My blade is here. Here's the middle of my guide. It's somewhere around the middle. This prevents my guide from sliding. Almost there. I will mention one other thing. And that is the paste. So, you're bending wallpaper around the radius. And that would be fine if, if you continued around the radius because this 
would hold this down. But when you're cutting it on the edge, you know what's going to happen. The wallpaper's gonna straighten up. So what do you do? You have to use a paste that's different. Now for my line that's not perfectly straight, we trim it. It happens. I got an email from a woman yesterday. <clears throat> she took about a half an hour of my time. She said, I need you to hang wallpaper. I don't want to mess it up. I know it's easy, she says. I know it's easy. So she's going to dump it on me. You know what that means, right? She doesn't want to pay. She wasted a half an hour of my time. I know it's easy, so I'm going to have you do it. So I don't have to. <clears throat> okay. So I gave her the price. I said, <laughs> if you want this done right, the price is X. <clears throat> she says, thank you for your time. <clears throat> okay. And my line is now just an, about a half an inch after the radius begins. Because if you, too, if you come too far over here, it looks like there's something missing. And so that's how we finished it off. After the last frame, we trimmed it a bit more. And as you can see on these radial bull noses, sometimes you have a plaster casualty that has to get filled in. But that wallpaper will be up for many years and that's how you cut wool, wool covering against a bullnose. <clears throat>